on the table, Transformers Earthrise. Hi guys, it's Dan at Squirrel Stampede, and today we are going through a bunch of War for Cybertron Transformers toys. Hasbro has sent over this giant War for Cybertron box full of toys for free, so we have a lot to go through. Plus, I picked up a few Transformers the last couple months that I want to see too, like RC. For some reason, I never have RC in my collection. The updated smokescreen, also very nice. So we have a lot of bots to transform and figure out. Let's get right to these amazing new Transformers. Yikes! What was that? Say goodbye, Twenty Twenty. See you on the other side. Woohoo! See you, loser, Twenty Twenty. Where to start with this giant Earthrise collection? Well, I kind of have an idea. Let's maybe try smokescreen. Wait, what? Two smoke screens. So ironically, just before Hasbro sent this package over, I had picked up my own smokescreen. One of my more favorite classic characters. There's the back of the box of smoke screen. I had also picked up RC, and RC did not appear in the Hasbro box. So I'll sub in my own RC. Anyhow, with smoke screen, it's all about smoke. <laughs> Thanks, Smokescreen. Let's get him out of the box. And a Smokescreen out of package. One of my favorites because of the color scheme. The red, the blue, the white. Real easy to see this Transformer zipping about. Kind of a matte finish with the paint on this. Looks great. Articulation also is very well done with these. We've got shoulders that move about, there's elbows, there's wrists, head rotation occasionally. Sometimes there's something in the waist too. This is looking like a great smoke screen so far. You can really place him into a lot of battle positions. So what a great transformer to battle about with. Well now let's try to figure out how to get him into vehicle form. There's going to be so many transformers today, I think I will just time lapse my transformations. That way we can try and pack in everyone we can possibly pack in. So let's transform Smokescreen. Guilty of too fast. Autobot 80 transformed, kind of fun. As I misread the instructions, I was going from one, three, five, and didn't realize you could open this up and go side to side, so whoops on that. Guilty. But I figured it out, and Smokescreen is mostly transformed. There seems to be an issue with his hood, though. I gotta kind of figure that out. This must just kind of pop up into place. Is it gonna pop up into place? Well, I haven't really figured that out yet. Overall, though, great looking Transformer. Really packs down small scale size, but I like that. It's always frustrating when the Autobots start to appear larger than, say, Optimus Prime. Maybe only one nitpick with this series is the way they do the wheels now onto those attachment points. Just doesn't look very satisfying, and they can fly off in play. Overall, I really like this smoke screen, though, and I think I will upgrade this one to my go-to smoke screen. Alright, up next, RC. For some reason, I've never had a RC Transformer toy. I have always tried to find one, and every time RC comes out or around in any of the series, it's always kind of a more late run or special edition figure or something, and I can never find or get an RC. So finally an RC has arrived in my collection and what is most cool is she's very G1 inspired with the pink and the white and the Princess Leia hair buns. She's very much an RC toy that I would like to see. Over there on the back, 15 steps of transformation. Looks like she might be carrying a lot on her back. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. Well, let's get her out and see what she looks like. RC standing tall, ready to go backpacking in the Swiss Alps. She has got pretty much everything going on in the back for anything she possibly needs, camping equipment, sleeping bag, all that. Actually, I believe some of this removes, hopefully, as a display stand because it is a little much. Sure enough, it is removable and makes the appearance of this figure so much better. I mean, RC already does have a little bit 
on her back, but before it was a little bit crazy. Now we've got kind of like a little flying sled for her, I guess you could call it, or a very nice fancy display stand, which also helps hold her up. Her legs were a little bit weak when holding all that stuff on her back. I like the transparent sky blue weapon, that looks great. And as for articulation, I think she's going to have plenty of spots to really pose her in a hundred different positions. She's really going to be fun on the Autobot team. So robot mode looks terrific, let's see how vehicle mode goes. Guilty of mistransformed base. And RC's vehicle mode, a little more fragile than smokescreen. I had a little tougher time getting her together. Once I figured out that her backpack will pin down onto a central rotator pin, that sure helped out fit the rest of her body underneath the carriage of the vehicle, which you can obviously see. So when RC jumps off something, you'll be like, Hey, RC, I see you all folded up inside your vehicle. From the outer shell, though, looks really good, though. All the panels surprisingly lock into place really quickly and easily. Considering how thin the plastic is starting to become on Transformers, it's a pretty cool feat. So far, I really like all the color themes we're seeing with Earthrise today. Red and blue with smokescreen, pink and white with RC, and now a very bright yellow with Sunstreaker. Somewhere along the line, I had picked up a Transformers Autobot Sideswipe. I think Transformers Siege from a couple years ago. Some would say these two are brothers, both with a slick Lamborghini-esque style. So it'll be fun to see how well these two compare. Over on the back of the box here, we've got another 15 steps of transformation. If Sunstreaker is anything like Sideswipe, I really enjoyed this one. Let's open up. Sunstreaker out of the pack. Looks a little bit different in construction than Sideswipe, I believe, so it will be kind of fun to see what this Transformer is going to do, but pretty good from many different sides. The yellow is very Bumblebee-esque. His rooftop blower thingy, now a weapon, standing really in many different positions. Well there, Sunstreaker, let's streak you down to vehicle mode. Guilty of not centering. Transformer in camera. And there is Sunstreaker in vehicle form. I would say not as difficult as RC to transform, but a little bit trickier than smokescreen. A few panels here still need to be squeezed around, I think. Overall, though, a very fun transformation. And with this one, looks great in both modes. And also not a direct copy of Sideswipe. I think I kind of prefer Sideswipe's transformation. Pretty excited I've been able to finish the team here. These two really need to go together. Or different directions. Alright, one more Autobot to look at before we go to the bad guys. It's Trailbreaker. Trailbreaker, another great classic character from the original run. He has those great identifiable yellow, orange, red striping going down the side. Really like what they've done with the SUV style transformer. Let's open up. Guilty of bad music. Come on. So there we have Trailbreaker, a very fancy black with silver and red. This guy's looking cool. Oh, there's the highlights of the yellow, orange, and red striping. Those always bounce right off of Trailbreaker. What a great looking robot mode. I had picked up Hoist earlier in the year, and it looks like these two are going to be pretty similar in transformation. I think they are about the same, but there's always a few details different. So we'll see how they turn out and look together. Good articulation with all of these still. Good knee bends. One and two and three. Head movement, torso movement, arms on shoulders, elbows, wrists. A little bit tricky with these panels back there, but they just enhance the look of the Autobot. Well, let's get Trailbreaker into vehicle mode. And 
and Trailbreaker Transformed. I really like how this one turned out. I think because of my experience in transforming Hoist recently, I had a little easier time with this one. Everything really locked up into place very smoothly and turned out great looking. Nice four-wheel drive vehicle. I love the striping again, the yellow, the orange, the red. They are so iconic with this one. And seeing Hoist here with Trailbreaker, such a great team of Autobot too. So very pleased with Trailbreaker. If you can find this one, I totally recommend it. There's something really strong and powerful about this one and all sorts of great accessories and attachments with this one. Make it a great fun looking toy Autobot to play with. Finally going Decepticon today with the Run Amuck, one of two of the Battle Chargers. Run Amuck, a very ritzy looking vehicle. 16 steps of transformation. Let's open up, see what Run Amuck can muck a run. High contrast with Runamuck, this Decepticon must spend a lot of time at the car wash to keep this white looking clean, fancy, ritzy. Oh, nice wheels in the back on the feet there for stabilization. Interesting looking Decepticon. I usually don't prefer Decepticons as cars, but every once in a while you have to see one, right? Going to be interesting to see vehicle form, so let's now figure out that vehicle form. Everybody catch that transformation a little bit quick. Started off really reasonable and then got really tricky towards the back end. Run amuck has some surprise reveal wheels hidden in the back. Kind of a really unique transformation process. In vehicle mode, looks way more drug dealer car than I expected. Fancy, ritzy, kind of creepy. Definitely a Decepticon. Out there, you should be able to find his partner in Crime or Runabout in black with red. Would be fun to see these two together, I may have to keep my eye out for. So if you're looking for a Decepticon with wheels, check out this one. Now, time for the big guns with Earthrise Megatron. Always trouble up with Megatron. Just last year we checked out an animated version of Megatron, so it will be interesting to see what this year's update will be about. But also, where's Prime? Prime was not included in the box. The Earthrise Prime is much larger with the trailer included. Somehow I've resisted all year. I think my Prime Shrine is getting a little full. But then the other day, my resistance was low. And I picked up the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Prime, which I believe is the same Prime only without the trailer and a darker paint job. So let's remove these two from the package and enjoy some constant one-liners. And outside of the boxes they stand, and by shaking the table, they don't fall. Looking at the Boulder Optimus Prime, I probably should go back and look for the Earthrise regular, colorful, more brightly version of Optimus Prime. I'm not so digging that color palette. Megatron looking sharp and spiffy though. I like the metal wear and tear damage on some of the paint on these. Ooh, nice bright purple Decepticon insignia. Tank treads hanging off the back. Lots of accessories with Megatron, his classic arm cannon, and some sort of spiky sword arm device. Oh, and not to forget, Optimus Prime does come with shield drawn and a Enerax. So he's got some weapons too. So pretty nice looking leaders. Now we've got to transform them, of course, and see if they roll.
So there we have the leaders in their vehicle mode. Interesting that Megatron folds up much larger as a tank. Optimus packs down quite smaller in a truck. I suppose that's why you really want the trailer accessory with Prime. Megatron's transformation a little tricky at first, but I think it's just new plastic tightness. I think now that i figured it out, it'll be a little quicker in transformation. Optimus Prime was pretty complex again. They keep using this fake front idea, which is hidden inside his robot mode, which also has a different front, and makes for a lot of panel folding. I must be getting old, I really yearn for the original G1 Prime. It's such a quick transformation, I really love playing with that one. With that being said, I really enjoyed both of these. I gotta find the trailer for Prime. I did not expect to go so far with this series. Oh, by the way, there's Smokescreen with Prime, and actually Smokescreen is looking quite huge. I think they could have beefed up the size of Prime's cab. It's about half as small as it really should be. Quintesson Judge. Good to see the Quintessons getting a little more love in 2020. We had earlier looked at the Quintesson Cyberverse version just earlier in the year. They're such an ugly villain of the Transformer universe. Over on the back of the box, you can see the Quintesson Judge has a chair and has 16 steps of some sort of transformation. I'm very curious to see how this guy scales outside the box. Let's remove. And the Quintesson out of the box. How many squirrels does it take to put back a Quintesson together again? Few housekeeping duties first. Let's remove the central core light bulb thingy structure. Now we're going to place the heads back on. Well, I can get one head attached, but these are the worst clips I've ever encountered. Try to get these heads on, not easy. We'll just move on for now. Maybe it'll just pop in later. Anyhow, what other steps do we got? The heads fold down, pretend there's a head there, and then we can replace the light bulb jail cell thingy. Moving over to the chair, there's a secret spot to hide a weapon, I think, in there. And we can place our Quintesson onto the chair. To rotate the faces, there's a little lever down below. And switches through the many different judges of Quintesson. Ooh, old Judge Blank Face, that one's the most terrifying. There is impressive detail on many of these masks, some even laugh. Ha ha ha. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, oh, oh. Oh, oh, never mind. And so when things aren't going the Quintesson's way, he can reach under the chair and pull out a little pistol for attacking with these neat little tentacles. Many of them are on hinges to move about. Easily one of the best Quintesson toys I've played with. Except for this face thingy. Usually there's not much to transform in a Quintesson, but there is some sort of judging chamber mode here. So let's uh, transform into that mode. And there would be your judging chamber if I got it correct. Obviously we need one more head placed right there in reverse. If you have War for Cybertron Double Dealer, he will connect over onto this side it looks like. Kind of an interesting addition. But I'm pretty sure I will always keep this just in regular Quintesson form. This is just kind of a little bit odd. But gives some story to your War for Cybertron toys. One more thing to talk about in these amazing Transformers Earthrise packaging is a secret code. code! Somewhere on the back here, we have a map of the universe, and we have our decoder, and you take your decoder just kind of like the old school, and I think I found Planet Junction behind a smoke screen's bag, and then Planet Para... Para something. So every one of these has some sort of code to find. And I guess you cut these out and build the map of the universe. Who do we got on the Quintesson? We've got a language I can barely read. What does that, what does that even say? Inpronounceable by the human tongue, I suppose. So if you can figure out how to use that red decoder to unlock the map's hidden paths, let me know. 
because it sounds kind of interesting. And that is your Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron collection. That was a lot of bots to go through. If you liked today's video, please give us a squake, a squirrelibe, and a squamant, and let us know what your favorite Transformers Earthrise Transformer is. I think mine was Smokescreen today. That one was my favorite. Thanks for watching, and that's what I have to say about that.